G'day folks and welcome to another four motion adventure. We are here at the Denlo Volkswagen Service Centre in Parramatta and we're here to find out all about the four motion system. With me I've got Alex, one of the technicians. Alex, welcome to the channel. Thank you. Good Mate. You. <laughs> Mate, how long you been here? What's the story? Uh, so I've been here five years. Uh, started off as a first year apprentice and love the four motion system. Uh, it's a great system for making sure you have grip at all times on the road. And um, yeah, just I love working on Volkswagen. They're Fantastic. Great. Mate, we get our van serviced here, so we trust you guys to keep us going. So far, so good. First things first, tell us all about the formation system. What happens when we are on the tracks, driving around, what goes on mechanically? It switches between having grip on the road versus having grip off the road. Um, mechanically, it's just, especially on the transporters that you've got here, um, activates the rear diff. So it goes from being a front wheel drive vehicle to save your fuel economy, to making sure that you have grip at all times whenever you have slippage. So what you're saying is, when a wheel loses traction, power is cut to that wheel and sent to the wheels that actually have traction. Yes, yeah, so what happens is that the ABS system actually kicks in, and what will happen is that the wheel that is slipping, the brakes will be applied, and uh, power then is transferred to the opposite side wheel to make sure that you have the traction to get out of that hole. Right. Yeah, so the way it works is that the computer will pick up uh, the slippage from the wheel speed sensors, will recognise that it won't have grip and things like that. So what it can do is basically send the power to the wheels that are needed. So for instance, when your front wheel drops into the hole, uh, the computer system will say, oh, we have no grip here, and it'll start sending power to the rear wheels through the uh, rear differential to make sure that you still have constant traction and can push out of that hole. Okay, cool. Now, sometimes, we have to deactivate the formation system, mm -hmm. uh, for example, when we're driving on, on the beach. Yep. Now, how do we do that? Uh, so, usually there's a button control in the car, or it can sometimes on some units be in the infotainment system itself. There'll be a setting in the infotainment system on your dashboard, and uh, literally press the button. Sometimes there's the, the extra hold of the button if you have some of the older models as well, and uh, it can de deactivate and activate a lot more stuff. But um, yeah, because you definitely need it for being off-road versus on-road, and then in certain situations off-road, you also need uh, to be disabled when, when you're on the sand, for instance. It's better to have the normal traction control on the sand than it is to have the off-road traction control. Okay, all right. Now, we've also got a rear differential in our vehicle, and yep. I know it's an option. Yep. Um, we've got a button on the dash there we can press, which is the, the four wheels or the front wheels in, in, the, in, the, in the left <laughs> position, I think it is. So what happens when we press that button? So when you, when you press that diff lock button, uh, basically what it does is it just makes sure that the rear diff, well usually when you're driving along, to be able to take corners nice and smoothly, the inside wheel has to spin less than the outside wheel in order to maintain, it's basically so you don't jump the car. Yep. When you're off-road though, uh, when you activate that button, uh, it will lock both the wheels together so they constantly spin at the same time, making sure that there's no extra slippage on one wheel so you have constant traction. Okay, so that will help us push ourselves out of a difficult situation, Definitely, I guess. Yeah. Uh, now, that has to be deactivated when you get back on a firm surface, no, of course, like Richmond. Yeah. Yeah. And why is that? Um, I mean, some people like it on drift cars. <laughs> <laughs> We're not a drift car. It's, it's a lot of fun. But uh, back when you're on a hard surface, you'll get increased tyre wear. It'll be really bad on uh, general comfort because you can literally feel the car hopping when you do it. Because when both the wheels go around at the same time, this wheel, the outside wheel will be fine, but the inside wheel is just there going dut, 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 right, you go okay. around the corners. So you can also get transmission wind up, I guess, and cause some serious yeah, yeah. damage to the yeah, vehicle. If it's on a, especially on a sticky surface, so you'll get, um, because it's trying to push both the wheels at the same time, it will constantly try and bind up. Yeah, you're right, right on that one. So we have the rear diff. We make, have to make sure that that diff locker is off when you get onto a firm surface and only use it when you're in, in a difficult off-road situation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Now, some of the vehicles also come with hill descent, mm -hmm. and we've seen that at the driver training property with some pretty steep hills. And I've got to say that Vic Widman, who we work with at Great Divide Tours, has he reckons that the hill descent in these vans is the best hill descent system he's seen pretty much in any four-wheel drive. Now that is a big call. Mm -hmm. So what happens in that situation when we're going down those hills, front or back? Yep. So. We've been working a lot on the hill descent system because they, uh, Volkswagen's four motion focus has a lot to do with the ABS, especially on the Amarok models. So when the hill descent system is activated, um, it talks to the wheel speed sensors, uh, you've got the ABS sensors and the ABS pump working. 
um, basically over time just to make sure that you have more sort of attention to your actual steering and making sure you're going around all the dips and grinds in the road rather than having to focus on how much braking you're using to make sure you're not locking up the wheels on the way down the hill. So when you're going down the hill, it just makes sure that uh, it's doing the braking for you without slipping the wheels. So you get a really nice, smooth downhill controlled descent. Yeah. Okay. And, and it works forward and going back? It does work forward okay. and going backwards, yes. And does that activate through the ABS system? And what's, what's making that the brakes come on? Uh, yeah, so when, you're, when you press the button on the dashboard to, or in the center console to make the hill descent come on, uh, yes, the ABS system is okay. talking to everything. <laughs> right, oh, well, that's about everything on the four motion system, rear diff lock, hill descent. Thanks so much for your time. I know it's a busy day here for you. No I really appreciate it. We've got nothing else to do, but, but one thing, What's that, mate? Gotta get out there for the love of travel. Mate! <laughs>